Good afternoon. You are watching Bagram and Six, and today our guests are Sarkis Karapetyan and Nara Gevelkian, the co-founders of Embritech Company. And today we will discuss what company does now and how it plans to develop in the future. Sarkis, Nara, thank you for coming. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And tell me about Embritech. How did you come to an idea to start this company and what does the name mean, Embritech? Okay, I will start. Uh, Embritech uh, started as a simple question. Can we uh, create a variable scales? And uh, back, uh, back then, uh, Sarkis and I was working together with different, on different projects. Uh, and we started the research uh, with that question. Can we create a variable scales? Uh, but then, uh, actually, the name comes from the shape of the first prototype because our first prototype that gave us uh, the meaningful data that now we are using in our product, now it uh, had the ch shape of the embryo and everyone, like our friends, was asking, how is, how is it going with your embryo? Like, how, uh, uh, wh where you achieved? And, um, we decided to keep that name, Embryon, but uh, as we, uh, we are a tech company and not medical company, uh, we just kept the first part of the name, Embry, and added tech, okay. so now it's Embry Tech. Sarkis Nara, can you tell me about uh, the vision of the company, about the mission of that? While we are on a mission to help people to sit less and move more, lead healthy lifestyle, by turning health control into a stress-free and fun experience. We envision a world where uh, every shoe uh, has built-in technology, like every smartphone has a camera today, and all these shoes are connected in a, in a chain as oracles, uh, giving the data and allowing the users to own their, their data and monetize their data. And is this company based in Armenia and where are the products developed? Uh, actually, a company started out of Armenia and the main uh, R&D team is based in Armenia currently. Uh, but then further, uh, uh, when we raised funds and uh, entered the market, we targeted the US market and now we have offices both in Yerevan and Los Angeles. Uh, and tell me about your main products, the insoles. How do they work? So actually, uh, insoles uh, look and uh, work as a usual insole uh, with a little bit more support than usual insole, insoles. But uh, there is a magic inside, there is a technology inside which tracks uh, different type of physical activities people do during uh, their uh, usual day. It's not necessarily a sport product or something for some specific sports, but you can wear them all day and collect data about your uh, physical activity. And how do they stimulate physical activity in this respect? So actually, uh, the product that now we are, uh, we are introducing uh, uh, we are incentivizing people to uh, to move more, to do more physical activity. And um, insoles itself physically does not simulate, yeah. but uh, but the application that uh, we we created and uh, you connect your insoles to your application, the rewards there will stimulate the physical activity. And how accurately do those insoles measure physical activity? And do they measure only walking or running or other types of physical activity as well? Actually, the, the product we have built um, in, in terms of the you know, hardware, the sensors we incorporated in the insole allow us to track almost everything people do on their feet. Um, and uh, right now we are only providing the data um, connected to uh, running, walking and sitting. Later we'll open up uh, stairs, climb, jumping and biking, even uh, more activities that, are, that we are losing our legs. Uh, if uh, speaking of accuracy, uh, I, I want to differentiate two things. There are two types of uh, problems here when it comes to physical activity tracking. First is detecting or what is it that person doing, then 
quantifying uh, what the person does. Uh, so uh, we are pre- uh, we, we we are one of the best in the world in detecting what activity person does. I uh, I would say we have like uh, 97, 98% accuracy in detecting running, walking, sitting, and this type of like casual activities. And if we talk about uh, quantifying, it's like even even more precise. Uh, well, when we detect, then then quantify, it's even higher, have higher accuracy. You have different types of devices. I mean, for measuring physical activity, like watches or something of that kind. But why do those insoles? Do you think they are better for doing that? Or are they more, you know, accurate or whatever? Yeah, so, um, um, great question. So, people very often uh, uh, compare uh, smartphones, smartwatches, and, and now insoles. Uh, the the thing is here, here is that I mentioned about the accuracy. Mm-hmm. They are doing. Uh, really terrible in detecting what activity person mm-hmm. does actually. If you say, hey, now I'm going for a walk, then they will do pretty well in quantifying your walk, like let's say steps, right? But if you don't tell I'm walking, they will count steps every move you do with mm-hmm. your hands or if the phone is on, in your pocket. So uh, a phone and the watch are the first steps in trying to track physical activity. Uh, They they popularized uh, tracking physical activity. But what we have built is the next generation of uh, physical activity tracking. We call it uh, proof of walk, the technology we we have built. And we are are the best in detecting what is it that person doing versus the phone or or, or the watch. And as far as I know, Embrytech has started an app uh, called Motorn. Can you please tell me what's the idea behind this app? Sure. So uh, we have built the Embry Tech uh, and we have built the Embry Insoles. We uh, we delivered the product and we realized that just having the data is not enough to motivate mm-hmm. people to move more. But the mission of the company is helping people to move more, sit less. And we were trying to find ways how we can incentivize and motivate people to move more. And we found some studies which shows that when you move this focus from the activity itself that you want people to do and reward them with the points, social benefits, or even uh, money, they uh, they start to uh, do activities they really want to do, but they don't. Mm -hmm. So now people want to move more sit less uh, and uh, now they will get rewarded. The idea behind the motor is getting rewarded for your movement. And uh, motor, uh, we, we call it motor because it consists from two words. Mot, it's a move in Latin and uh, earn, it's yeah. like earning. Yeah, we combined that two words and sometimes we say that we are modernizing the word. <laughs> we are uh, we are kind of changing perception of uh, how people look to their movement and uh, we adding that earning uh, component. And uh, modern itself is the next generation wellness ecosystem where uh, connected insoles or any connected device uh, kind of bridges the real physical world to the virtual world we ha- where we have city NFTs. They are kind of uh, non-fungible tokens. They are kind of connected, tangible NFTs. So we, uh, we connect the physical products to the city NFTs and give people the whole experience of, uh, of the gamified wellness. And can this app work solely with uh, the insoles or you can use it with other devices like your phone or whatever? Actually, you can uh, start to uh, start to earn with your phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as Trustworthy is the data source, the device, earnings are higher. So uh, if you earn with your phone uh, or your other physical activity tracker is lower than you earn with your insoles. And you can unlock your insoles only if you are uh, in your 20th level of, mm-hmm. in the application. 
So it's not a game, but gamified wellness. So you need to do physical activity to unlock your insoles. So if I understand it correctly, so you have game elements in this. So is it just like, you know, you create your own character or you have any missions to complete when you use the app? What is that? I mean? uh, actually, I wouldn't say that it's a game, but we can say that it's gamified wellness. That's why we don't have kind of a... Uh, we have some components from gaming, like levels, like leveling up, uh, having your own kind of avatar or NFT, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not a game. So you just... Uh, have that leveling up component to uh, to have that social uh, social benefits to compare compete with maybe others or uh, or feel feel the uh, progress of your movement. Also, when you use the leveling up or you use uh, that uh, mix of virtual and physical words, we are able to give people uh, rewards not coins or something but rewards that they can feel that they are leveling up before they feel it in their body mm -hmm. because when you start to exercise or move more or go to gym you can't notice the changes uh, straight away straight yeah. away right but if you leveling up your uh, virtual shoe or your um, avatar it's kind of incentivizing you to do it more so when we're talking about ct nfts mm -hmm. you mean things like your appearance in this game or things like that, yeah? Uh, so uh, actually, uh, to open the brackets, we are introducing a new category of uh, non-fungible tokens, NFTs. We, we call it connected tangible NFT because we give the uh, uh, power of uh, wearables to NFTs. So you have a wearable that tracks your physical activity and you have an NFT, let's say NFT shoes. And then imagine you are saving the story of your activity, story of your real shoes into the metadata of your NFT, which in return gives you more power and utility in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And you also introduced your own cryptocurrency called EMET. Uh, how do you earn that and how can you spend it? Uh, okay, so um, we haven't introduced the token yet. We, uh, actually, we introduced, but we haven't launched the token yet. The token is called Embry Move to Earn Token. Mm -hmm. And it is possible only uh, to earn only by doing physical activity as opposed to other uh, uh, move apps, to uh, Move to Earn apps in the category that are uh, where it's um, possible to buy the token, uh, to level up with buy tokens and so on. In our case, uh, move matters, matters the most. And we uh, build the mechanics uh, of, the, of the gamification in a way that uh, the only way to get the tokens is actually doing the physical activity. And uh, I would add here that Every project that starts, uh, that claims that we will reward for some kind of activity, they have to answer two questions. First is, uh, uh, how are we going to track that uh, mm -hmm. uh, very activity or move that we are going to re uh, reward? And the second, how are we cre creating a sustainable long-term economy around that? Um, and uh, who will pay for the rewards, right? Uh, the, uh, the existing pro uh, apps uh, kind of uh, pool where all participants are paying and those who are performing well getting rewards, but the, the others are losing. We have seen this last uh, couple of months that many projects, and in many projects, people lose money. In our case, uh, we are not promising high returns in the beginning but we promise uh, steady growth uh, uh, long-term. And uh, because of the technology we are using, uh, we will be able to invite third parties, let's say insurances, employers, and governments who are actually benefiting from people being more mm -hmm. active. Uh, and another question. Uh, I mean, when people are doing physical activity, some are honest, but some will try to cheat on the app. Mm. And how do you ensure that 
uh, this cheating is recognized and kind of tracked. Yeah, th this is uh, where our powers come uh, comes out. Uh, we have been uh, in this game um, uh, for more than four years now. We have been developing technologies. We have uh, patent pending in USPTO on the methods uh, and, and the design of uh, tracking physical activity that we use. We have mechanical innovation uh, uh, and uh, algorithms innovation uh, that that we build uh, and we uh, it, so we we say we say it's more almost impossible to cheat if person is using our our insoles mm -hmm. because we are uh, with with some accuracy we are also able to uh, detect who who is wearing the insoles because we have uh, the weight and and the walking uh -huh. patterns so you have to buy a, a Boston Dynamics rubber <laughs> train how you walk <laughs> so you can cheat. I see. I, I would I would add also the uh, privacy part because privacy really matter for us and for our users. We care about their privacy and we don't use GPS. Uh, like other applications, they use GPS to to know like whether that person running or walking. But we don't use GPS. And uh, only insoles are enough to track the activity. So the app is in the testing stage right now, and when it will be completed? Oh, uh, this is actually a very, very uh, interesting question. Uh, in Web3, uh, I would say there are no complete products. All products are sort Constantly of like, kind of, yeah, yeah in, in testing period, everyone is exploring. So Web3 gave us new technologies, uh, blockchain technologies. Uh, that uh, we never leveraged. Uh, so uh, the, that being said, our app is uh, we, we successfully completed with alpha testing, and just uh, tonight we launched our beta, uh, which is again private. We give access via email, so people uh, um, need to buy one of our NFTs, and we'll give them uh, exclusive access to the beta testing. And we have only two thousand. Um, spots for, for that testing. Uh, at this phase, uh, we estimate to be about, about like three, four months. Then we'll open for public beta and launch the Android app as well for, for uh, public beta testing. So in the last question, uh, what are the other products which are developed by Ember Tech right now? And how does the company plan to develop in the nearest future? Uh, well, uh, for f uh, small startups, uh, one, one product is more than enough, especially if you are creating a new product, innovative product, there is an R&D component involved. So we don't have that much of resources to build other products. We are just focusing, even we cut some of the features or uh, is, products yeah. that we, 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 we experiment. Uh, uh, the next version, um, I, I already mentioned for the app, but for the insoles, next version will be uh, with more sensors and uh, we'll add more, more activities and more uh, towards sports tracking. Uh, Sarkis, Nara, thank you so much for your time and I wish you best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thanks, sir. Yeah. You are watching Bagram and Six. Uh, subscribe to our Telegram and YouTube channels. See you next time.